choose the type tool click on your screen type the word custom you can select the text with the type tool and use the character palette to make the type larger or you can use the selection tool and the scale tool to resize the type hold down the shift key so that it doesn't get squished or stretched as you could see in the reference some of the letters are sans serif and some are serif serif means that there are these details on the letter and sans serif means there are no details down here so I will use the type tool to change the font to a serif font on some of these letters on my reference letter M and letter S are the ones that have the serif you could search by filter fonts with serif and find the font that matches closely with the one I used then select the letter S with the type tool next we will convert the type to editable paths once you convert the type to editable paths you will no longer be able to use the type character to change fonts or the sizes of the letters you will still be able to change the sizes using the scale tool but you will not be able to use the type character menu so make sure that you change your fonts before you convert the type to editable path to convert the type to editable path use the selection tool and click anywhere on your type to make sure it is selected then go to type and choose create outlines next you want to ungroup these letters go to object and choose ungroup now you could select each letter individually and move it and edit it with direct selection tool we'll start with the letter C use the selection tool click on letter C to select it get the shear tool click and drag go back to the selection tool and move it over a little bit in the tool palette choose fill white stroke red 30 points corners rounded go to edit copy go back to edit paste in front make the stroke orange color make it 20 points edit copy edit paste in front yellow 10 points edit copy edit paste in front no stroke white fill select the direct selection tool click on the top left part of the letter U and just drag it up hold down the shift key while you drag so that it drags perfectly up and down go to the regular selection tool click on letter U to select the entire letter hold down the option key click and drag to make a duplicate go to object arrange send to back click on the first copy of letter U and change the color to green use the regular selection tool click on letter S get the scale tool click and drag to stretch the letter go to the rotate tool click and drag in the circular motion to rotate the letter use the regular selection tool to move the letter change the color to red go to object compound path release 
get the zoom tool, zoom in on this area, get the scissor tool, which is located in the drop down menu of the eraser tool. Click and hold the eraser tool to get the drop down menu. Select the scissor tool. Click on the edge of letter S to cut it in two places, one here and one here. Get the zoom tool and hold down the option key and zoom out. Choose the selection tool, click on letter S, go to object, arrange, send to back. Select the letter T, move it over, go to Object, Arrange, Send to Back. Choose the Direct Selection tool, click on Empty Space to deselect, click on the bottom portion of letter T, hold down the Shift key and drag down, get the Rectangle tool, hover over this corner of, letter, of the bottom of letter T until it says Anchor, click and drag, to create a rectangle, choose gradient, choose gradient tool, and change the direction of gradient to right to left. Choose the selection tool, click on letter O and delete. Choose the ellipse tool, hold down the shift key, click and drag to create a circle. Get the selection tool, move it into place. Choose fill gradient. In the gradient type option, choose radial gradient and change the gradient to match the reference. First gradient slider will change to CMYK. Hold down the Option key if you want to duplicate the gradient slider. Get the gradient tool and move the gradient until it matches the reference. Get the Selection tool, select the letter M, move it into place. Choose Fill Gradient, choose Linear Gradient, get the Gradient tool, rotate so that it's vertical instead of horizontal, or just click and drag from up to down. Hold down the Shift key so that it's perfectly straight. You might want to expand the Gradient box so that you have more room to work with because this gradient will have more colors than that one. Click on each gradient slider, change the color. To delete a gradient slider, just click and drag it down. To duplicate a gradient slider, click and drag, holding down the Option key. To create a new gradient slider, just click underneath the gradient bar. Move the gradient sliders around to try to match the reference as closely as you can. Choose the selection tool, click on empty space to deselect. 